Hi guys and welcome back to e-commerce know-how. In this video we are going to talk about some of the most important things you need to know before starting an e-commerce website. If you have made your mind to start an e-commerce website or if you're new to the field then make sure to watch this video until the end. But before we begin make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. This way you will never miss any updates from our side since we keep on bringing more and more encouraging and informative videos your way. So if you're into e-commerce or any online business of any type, then you should definitely subscribe to our channel. With that out of the way, let's begin with the video. Number 10, know what you are selling. If you're going to begin your journey in the e-commerce world, then you should start with figuring out what you're going to offer to your customers. Is it going to be a physical product or is it going to be a service? You should know about everything beforehand so that you are determined about your project and you will not lose money down the line. You should have a proper plan and you should stick to it until it's successful. Number nine, demand. If you're going to sell something online on your e-com store, then make sure that it's relevant to the market. If it has demand in the locality, only then it makes sense to invest your time and money. If no one is going to buy your product or your service, then seriously, you should drop the idea unless you have some extra money to spare on a roller coaster ride like this, which goes completely downhill. Number eight, unique. Now that you have figured out what you want to sell and you know that it has demand, the next step is to know if it's unique or not. You don't want to challenge an existing multinational company with a startup business right out of the gate, right? So make sure your commodity or service is unique. By unique, I don't mean that it must be something bizarre that makes no sense at all. This will defeat the purpose. By unique, I mean that your product must have some characteristic property. Number seven, advertise. A lot of new e-commerce businessmen do not realize how important it is to advertise their products. They just tend to rely on organic growth. And believe me, it's not the best option either. You should realize how important it is to advertise before you start your business. Instead, I recommend you to have a dedicated budget for the purpose of advertising. This will get you more traction and you should consider the money spent on advertisement as an investment instead of an expenditure because in the long run, it's going to help you and your business only. Number six, testaments. If your service and product involves interaction with the clients, then you should always try to get their testaments. This way you will be creating a network of your clients. As this shows you are serious about your work and on the other hand, you will build a better resume in order to get more clients. So this is like a win-win situation because at the end of the day, you will be benefited only. Further, if you add these testaments on your website, you will create a trust factor with the clients. Number five, social media. Just like advertisements, social media is often slept upon by many newbies since both of them are closely related. But did you know that social media is basically a free advertisement? By posting about your service and products on social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, you are reaching out to new people who can be interested in your commodity, so you should always try to make the best use of it. Number four, profit. You should always consider profit as an important factor. It's better to sell an item with at least 40% of its amount as your profit. Because you're going to pay your employees and shipping charges, etc. using that money only, and if that leaves you with just a couple of dollars, then it's not an ideal deal, so you should always ensure to have a good cut. And distribute the amount in possible expenditures. Number 3, Undercut Strategy. Now, from profit to this reliable strategy, I know that we just talked about having a good amount of profit per sale, but you can also make use of this strategy. In order to make your product more relevant in the competition, you can offer it at comparatively lower price in your competition. This way you will get more traction and your niche can go viral as well. Number two, monetization. Any online business relies on a website generally, and especially e-commerce, right? So you should always try to get the website monetized as soon as possible. This can be done by sponsored posts, or you can also opt for an affiliate business model, as it is quite rewarding and beneficial in the longer run. Also, this will help you generate money for expenses and savings for your main business. Number one, time. If you want to come in the e-commerce business, then you should know that your time is your most valuable asset. You should save it as much as you can because the more time you save is proportional to the money you make. So make sure to save your time whenever you can because it's going to be a grind and you will be rewarded eventually. So these were the 10 things that you should know before starting an online business. We hope that you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching and we will see you in the next one.